Welcome back to Resonance Homestead. I'm Jasmine. And I'm Jess. And we are in the workshop to show you a really quick and easy Christmas, birthday, thank you, relax <laughs> gift. Okay? So what we're going to do is show you how to make bath salts um, or bath soaks, whatever you want to call them. Um, let's show you what we're going to use. Okay, so we're going to use the Epsom salts. So get these from the supermarket. If you want to get them bigger, head down to your fodder store. They quite often sell them. You're not eating them. These are going in the bath. So uh, they don't need to be food grade. So heaps cheaper to head to your fodder store and you'll be able to buy them in more bulk. Then we've got our magnesium salt. So this again is in bulk. We use a fair bit of it. It is great for muscle soreness uh, and all that kind of jazz. So you can buy that in big bags and it's super cheap and long as you keep it stored in a dry drum, which is what these are, then it will last for ages. Then next we've got the dandelion flowers. So dandelion flowers, we, I literally pick these off a of weed in the backyard and um, you know, every couple of days I'll have one and I'll just pick it up and pop it inside to dry. So they're going in and they've got some beneficial properties as well. The next thing we've got is tea bags. So pick one of them up, Jasmine. I did not buy these. Why would I not buy these, Jasmine? What do you reckon? Because they're not for tea. Well, they're not the normal tea I drink, exactly. And what are they wrapped in? Plastic. Plastic. So these tea bags are nylon. Uh, they're a plastic. So, awesome, I've been given these as a gift, um, which is lovely because people obviously know I love tea, but I only drink black tea. Uh, so sometimes the kids chuck these in their drink bottles with water, our teenagers are particularly keen on them with a bit of ice for breakfast, uh, to take in her school lunchbox. So, yeah, I wouldn't buy them, they're in nylon, but just because I'm not going to drink them doesn't mean I cannot reuse them. Uh, the next thing we've got is the box of bicarb soda. And that's it. So let's make some bath salts and talk a bit more about that as we go. Okay, what we've got is a jar. And Jasmine is going to add some of the magnesium salt. So again, we bought this in bulk to make it super cheap, keep going. Magnesium salt is great if you're getting lots of muscle pain, if you have joint swelling and things like that. And this is the Epsom salt, so they're going in. You can mix up whatever you like to mix up, really. So I've got these tea bags. Now, if it was me, I would pop the whole tea bag in. Um, the reason I would do that is because it's all contained. Uh, there's no little bits that you're going to have to scoop out your bath before you drain it. You don't want to relax in the bath and then have to spend the next 30 minutes cleaning the bath. Um, but they do look awesome sprinkled through the salts. So what I would suggest, if you're making up your dried blends or anything like that, is that you get some cheesecloth and you make a reusable little tea bag that people can pop in the bath so they can actually scoop some of this into their little tea bag, pull the drawstring and pop it in the bath. What we're going to do with these is we're going to show, we're just going to cut the top off so we can reuse it. And tip it in. Looks nice. Yeah, see it looks nice. So it's about how it looks sometimes, more than the practicality. Pop the lid on. And then we've got some dandelion flower over here. So there's a jet going out the dog door. So I've um I've got one big dandelion weed uh, out by my laundry, and just every day I pick the, uh, a couple of the flowers off and bring them in to dry. Um, dandelions known to have good good health benefits, so we are going to pop those in too. In there, and they look nice. And then Jasmine is going to shake, shake, shake. So yeah, if you get teas and things that you go, oh gosh, that's lovely, but I'm just not going to use it. Uh, you don't have to drink it. These quite often they've got quite lovely things in them that are nice for your skin and nice just to soak in anyway that I'd rather have on my skin than I would in my body to be honest. So there we go, look at that, it's all shook up. I like to shake it. 
There we go. So you can just see that we've got a nice pretty mix. Uh, beetroot powder makes it nice and pink. Uh, you could use Himalayan salts, they're a bit pinker again. You can add a little bit of oil. So Jasmine's a peppermint girl, I'm a lavender girl. So you can add um, a few drops of oil in there and the salt will absorb it, give it a good shake. It won't go clumpy because it's only a little bit and you'll get a nice scent coming off it. You could also just use dried lavender out your garden. All those pot purees that your mum had as a kid in the little bowl around the place, uh, we now pop them into bath salts. So have a think about that, that's a great option. And then all you do, is you pop a nice piece of paper or card on it. Often you can find, you might have been sent a Christmas card, you know they're gonna go on the bin. Jet, stop going in the dog door. <laughs> All right. You can also use a bit of this. It's, and if you're worried about maybe like stains in your bath, this just cleans it out as well. And if you're, some people find out they're allergic when they use it as deodorant, so. Yeah, so bicarb is a great cleaner. So I always put a little bit of bicarb when I'm doing bath things, bath bombs, that kind of thing. Bit of citric acid to give it a little bit of fizz. I don't have any of that today. So pop a tablespoon of bicarb in and that'll help stop any scum that you're worried you're going to get on your bath. Salt, you won't get scum. Uh, it'll give it a clean, if anything. But if you're adding a bit of beetroot powder or stinging nettle powder or a bit of colour, then you might get a bit of um, a bit of a ring around the bath chart. So the bicarb will help that to stop that from happening as we will citric acid. Yeah. All right. So that is our handy hint for an under five dollar gift. Um, you have plenty in stock. Make it with the kids these holidays on a quiet day when you're looking for something to do. They can keep their own jar in their room. Very recommended. It's a great gift and not only can it be a gift, it can just be little stuff where you can make to just have yourself a little relaxing day. Right, so when the kids are getting a bit bored, make up some of these. Use some reusable containers you have around the place. This one's from a vanilla pod. Your old herb shakers, that kind of thing. Get the kids to make their own up. Then they get to take in turns having a bath and you get a hot cup of tea of the tea you really like. Yeah. So I hope a little bit of this, uh, a little sustainability um, activity resonates with you. I hope a little bit of this resonates with